You may have come across this video where a nail scientist uh, decided to do a permeability test with the Tuesday in Love formula, and she used what's called the peel-off method. And what that is is that she applied the nail polish to a flat surface, let it dry, and then peeled it off, and then attempted to put water drops on top to see if the water would go through. Now this may seem like a good idea at first, but the truth is that this method is actually a bit flawed when it comes to the Tuesday in Love formula, and I'll explain why. Now here's a balloon that I've cut in half, and I want you to think of the balloon as a layer of our nail polish. Now what happens when I stretch the balloon out? You notice that there's holes in it, right? Now these holes represent the micropores in our nail polish, so that when you apply a layer of the nail polish onto your nails and it dries, it forms this matrix that has the micropores that allow the water to go through to the nail bed. But now, what happens if that same dried layer of nail polish gets peeled off of the nail? It will shrink, just like the balloon. And then you can't see the micropores because they've closed up. And therefore, in the peeled off uh, version, the water won't be able to get through it. This is why we don't use the peel off method to do the water permeability test with the Tuesday in Love formula. So how do we know that the formula actually works on a hard surface? Well, today I'm going to show you a fun experiment that you can do that shows exactly how the Tuesday in Love formula works and does allow water to go through on a hard surface. To do this experiment, we're going to use Alka-Seltzer tablets. Now, Alka-Seltzer is sodium bicarbonate, and when it mixes with water, it releases fizzy gas uh, that's carbon dioxide. Now, the tablets themselves are actually very smooth. So if you have a close look right there, you'll notice that it's actually a very smooth, layer that almost mimics your nails. So it'll give us a good indication that the nail polish will be on a nice hard surface, it'll be flat, and it'll also demonstrate that the water can permeate through. Now along with doing this experiment on the Tuesday in Love formula, we're also going to try the experiment on two competitor brands that also claim that the Alka-Seltzer test works on their nail polish as well. Now once the Alka-Seltzer has completely dissolved, it leaves behind this shell of the nail polish. And we're going to let this empty shell sit here and dry for a while, and then we're going to do the next part of our experiment. So the first part of our experiment showed that the Tuesday in Love formula did in fact allow water to permeate through onto a hard surface. Now, what we're going to do in the second part of the experiment is that we're going to show that the peel-off formula or the peel-off method actually gives you false negative results. And now that the nail polish shell has fully dried, we're going to apply a few drops of water on top. And as you can see, because the nail polish has retracted, it's shrunk, the micropores have shrunk and have closed up, that's why the water is not permeating through, just as we had predicted. So there you have it, guys. As we've shown once again that the Tuesday in Love formula is water permeable on a hard surface because it went through and it activated the tablet. And also we showed that the peelable method of doing the permeability test is in fact flawed and inaccurate. Be sure to tag your friends, give us a like. And of course, if you ever have any questions or concerns, we'd love to hear from you. You can leave your questions in the comments, or you can also email us directly on our website at info at tuesdayinlove.com. 
Oh, and by the way, if you were wondering what happened to those tablets that had our competitor brands on them, well, 